So what we're gonna make for our pre-workout meal is a little bit of rice and fish. And I'll tell you guys why. One of the main mistakes that guys make when they're trying to bodybuild is they think their pre-workout meal has to be their, this big meal because they're going to the gym and they're gonna kill legs, so I gotta have a huge meal before I go train. It took me a long time to realize this. My pre-workout meal is my smallest meal. The smallest meal of the whole day. A little bit of fish, a little bit of rice, and that's it. If I eat a massive meal right now, when I go train, my body is gonna be using all its resources and the blood and everything is gonna be in my stomach trying to digest this food. While I'm trying to train legs, all the blood should be in my legs. I don't want the blood in my stomach and my body trying to digest food. I want my body using all its resources where I want them. So I eat white fish and then I have sushi rice. So rice, very simple. I don't have to measure anymore because I've been doing it long, long enough, but sushi rice is usually two cups of rice and one cup of water. So I'm just gonna pour the rest of this bag in here. I don't do anything special with my rice. This is rice and water. I don't have like a special rice cooker or any crazy shit. I just have regular Black & Decker. Cost 30 bucks, that's it, on. Okay, now, fish. If you're lucky enough to have somebody make it for you, that's great. If not, this is actually pretty easy to prepare. Costco has bags of like flounder or sole uh, that are frozen fillets individually packed. Those, you just take them out, you can fry them in the frying pan pretty easily. But I'm, like I said, I'm lucky enough to have a friend do this for me. So this plastic, it won't leak into the food if you warm it up. So I don't have to thaw this ahead of time. I can just take this bag out and you'll see, I'm just gonna throw it in a pot of water and then turn the water on the stove and that'll thaw the meat while it's in this plastic bag. Now, a little bit of fat is okay. So you see here, there's no fat, but when I'm done preparing this meal, there's gonna be a little bit of coconut oil in the fish, because I'm gonna saute it in a frying pan when I'm done thawing it. Now, the reason for that little bit of oil is that rice will digest really, really fast, and it will actually make me crash halfway through my workout if I don't have a little bit of fat to sustain it. I can eat that fish the way it is because it's already cooked, but I just want to make it taste a little better. So I have a pan warming. I'm just going to put a little bit of coconut oil, probably like half a tablespoon. Just going to drain some of the, usually some liquid from the fish. So let that simmer for a little bit, just so it browns a little bit, just tastes a little better. The rice is finished. It's obviously for taste, but I also, I'm doing a little bit of low salt where applicable. So Frank's Red Hot, it makes everything taste better. And it's pretty much calorie free. You're gonna get a little bit of sodium in here, but other than that, 